If you have looked at doing some material farming to engineer your on-foot suits or weapons in Elite Dangerous Odyssey, then you may have heard of the Arise Mine Settlement in Ayabulu. There are a lot of videos out there showing how to farm this particular settlement for many of the materials used in on-foot engineering. In this video, I would like to propose an alternate settlement to use instead. And I'm going to show you exactly what you can find there and how you can farm those materials without any upgrades or engineering. The settlement is Miyamoto Mining Installation in the Shokut system. If we take a look at the details of the two settlements side by side, you can see that they have the same characteristics, other than being owned by a different faction and being in a different system. Both settlements are under anarchy rule so you won't get any bounties whilst farming either of them. Both are exactly the same layout settlements, and both have the same on-foot engineering materials available. There are a couple of reasons why I am suggesting this settlement as an alternative. First, the Erase Mine settlement is owned by the Dingoes of Diwali, which is a player group faction. By farming materials at that settlement, commanders are messing with that player group's BGS for their faction. The player group has already been complaining about it, and if Frontier decides to take notice, this could lead to them taking action to stop commanders from farming there. The other settlement, Miyamoto Mining Installation, is owned by an NPC faction, so commanders farming materials there shouldn't bother anyone. Second, the Arrays Mine settlement is sometimes unavailable due to the BGS states anyway so it's a good idea to have an alternative for when that happens at least. Personally though, I would recommend using the Miyamoto Mining Installation Settlement because of it being better for the player group that owns a raised mine. This is the layout of both settlements, and as you can see, they have a command building, a power building, a store building, an extraction building, and two hab buildings. The settlement alarm is in the command building. Before we move on to the guide to farming this new settlement, I'd like to explain a few things about the materials that you can collect here. There are three main types of on-foot engineering materials. Assets, goods and data. Assets are the items that are found in open lockers and containers or just laying around on the ground or on shelves. All of the assets are useful for engineering. These are the assets that you can find in these settlements. Goods are the items that you mainly find in the locked lockers that you have to cut open. There are only 12 goods that are relevant for engineering and you can find all of them at these settlements. These are the 12 materials and these are the buildings where they spawn in these settlements. If you are looking for these materials, remember they are in the locked lockers, apart from the power regulator of course. The power regulator is the only one that does not appear in lockers. If you want this, you can get it from the power building after shutting off the power once you have finished pillaging the rest of the settlement. Data are the digital materials that you download from data ports. These are the data materials that can spawn at these settlements and which data ports they can spawn at. Now, let's get on with the walkthrough.
profile cloned. Entering pressurized environment. Entering restricted area. Authorization scans disabled. That was gunfire. You're not supposed to be in here. Shield I'm shot! I'm shot!
That was gunfire. I'm hit! Shots. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Recharging. Suit fully charged. Why are you so close?
Returning to orbit in 3, 2, 1, off. Drop to normal space in the vicinity of Miyamoto Mining Installation. Touchdown. That's it. You just repeat from the beginning until you have all the materials that you need. I hope this walkthrough has been helpful and makes engineering your on foot suits and weapons that little bit easier. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like as that will help it be seen by others. If you would like to see more videos like this, then consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to get a notification whenever I release a new video. As always, I'll see you out in the black. 07 Commanders, 